coming to you live from uh, Soroti City, where, of course, in, uh, I will be speaking to one of the candidates in this race. Uh, that is the son of the late. Uh, but uh, just to bring you up to speed, uh, yesterday was the final day of the campaigns, and of course the five candidates were in different areas trying to, conver to converse the last minute, uh, uh, you know, to bring people up to vote for them, uh, that is tomorrow. So they were in different uh, areas, the NRM candidate, that is Philip Ochoa, was uh, in uh, Ochapa Town Council and later on he went to Serere Town Council. Uh, we had the FDC candidates also in the villages. They, they, they were, the others were doing door-to-door -door, uh, campaigns and that's how the state of affairs was in Serere. I can say that it, it was generally peaceful. Uh, we have not yet witnessed uh, any instances that are serious and we expect that uh, even on the final day tomorrow as the electorates go to the polls, the situation will remain calm as they wait for the final results of the person who will finally lead that area. With me, I'm joined by one of the candidates, like I told you, that is Emmanuel Omuding, who is going to tell us how he has found the campaign since he, he joined the rest. Uh, good morning, sir, and uh, our condolences for the demise of, of course, your parents. Yes. Uh, how have you found the campaigns, most especially if we start from uh, an angle whereby initially there was endorsement from some of the leaders of the NRM party, and uh, the party later on stood by the flag bearer. Mm -hmm. Has that in any way given you a boost or it affected you? I think uh, for me I've seen is the people of Serere. The people of Serere have spoken. There's a massive, massive, massive support from the people of Serere. They are still mourning and they still loved what Papa did for them. And I think for them as a sign of a payback and to say thank you Papa, Let's get the son to go ahead and complete some of the projects that Papa did not finish, Honorable the late Okabe. Um, so some of these projects were like the circus groups that he started, uh, but he didn't finish. And the people of Serere are hoping and believing that I will complete those circus groups and other projects that Honorable the late started. Uh, the journey has been very good. Uh, very interesting uh, just to see that boost from the people and the support from the people that has been uh, very amazing and uh, very good for me uh, for the ground mm. uh, when possibly you are finally elected and you go to parliament uh, what do you think you can deliver from there for the people but also for the country because you will finally be a representative of the whole nation not only people of Serere but uh, you know this is a parliament where there are over 500 members mm. And catching sometimes the eye of the speaker to allow you to speak is even problematic. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you think you, what is that is that you can do within your means if you're elected that will ensure, first of all, you deliver to your people, but also your voice is heard uh, in the whole nation? Thank you. Um, first, I will, first, I will start with what, uh, uh, accomplishing what the people want in Serere. That's all they are wanting for me to do. And also working uh, as I go to Parliament, you know, the legislations and uh, things that um, pattern uh, things of this country uh, and the things of our 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 our, our uh, county, Serere. But also I work with, you know, our international friends uh, who are overseas there, who are also behind me, and and working with me. And that network is very important in 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 our country and also for the people of Serere. Mm. Thank you. Uh, and then if I can ask a, a question, uh, you know, people will be saying, like they have always heard that, you know, okay, if somebody loses the parents, they join the race. But uh, here you are having a race where you have an experienced legislator, that is Ali Salaso. So they would ask, why should we vote for a first timer who possibly is just going to learn things on the job, yet we have somebody who knows already what to do? W what are those credentials that can make you a better candidate and MP for this area? Is you know also being an MP, you need a network both mm -hmm. locally and internationally, and that's I think the most important thing that I have. Uh, we've been working with the, also Ugandans who are in Australia, USA, who are interested, who have interest in Uganda, but they want somebody who has already been out there, and they can trust to 
uh, promote their projects or invest in Uganda. And uh, I've got a overwhelming support from my fellow uh, Ugandans who are in, in Australia who are really saying, please, if you get in there, we want to invest. We want to come home and do things in Uganda at home. And I think that network is very important. Okay. Yes. Okay. We thank you very much for speaking to us here on NTV. And, of course, we wish you the very best yeah. uh, of the, uh, the outcome of those polls tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Mm. Just had a, you know, the, the cry for the people of Serena right now is a free and a fair election. That's all they want. Let them go and vote by themselves. At the moment, a lot of residents uh, are not comfortable. Um, I, I believe there's a lot of the cars of the RDCs uh, uh, all over uh, the, the county. And, uh, and, and, and there's information say that each RDC will have a soldier uh, in their vehicle uh, to monitor these elections. I think what the people of Serrero want is just a free, fair election. Let there be peace. Uh, the, the voters are peaceful. So I don't think there's a, a need of this massive deployment uh, uh, for the people of Serere. I, I mean, all the election during the campaign, there's, there's not been any violence. People have been very free and happy and supporting their candidates. So I think uh, at this moment, um, you know, instead of deploying RDCs everywhere with soldiers, uh, it doesn't uh, show a good picture for the people of Serere. The people of Serere are just crying. Let us have a free and a fair election. Mm. Maybe the last uh, question uh, that I'd forgotten to ask you, but uh, it is one of the stories that we have been doing, and it came out, uh, out yesterday during the, uh, the NRM campaign here where the president um, seven joined the NRM candidate. And one of the things which have been coming out is that uh, this uh, by-election has a little bit divided NRM. Mm -hmm. One, by your participation, but also they have a flag bearer there. And we understand uh, if you talked of uh, the minister from the area, that is Elena Doa, mm -hmm. members of parliament, we have not seen the regional coordinator of the NRM from this side, that is the national vice chairperson from this side. It, what kind of force do you have from within the NRM? Uh, there is, as I say, I'm, I'm working with, you know, um, to most of my support is coming from family and also some friends of mine within, within Uganda, and they are, they are standing with me. I think uh, why people are saying, you know, some ministers didn't come, some MPs didn't come, and I think people are just still mourning. People are still mourning their comrade, and I think they feel that if we turn up, we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are betraying that feeling of the people of Serere, who are still mourning uh, the death uh, of their loved Honorable Kabe. And uh, I think that was just some people paying respect and respecting their comrade. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for speaking to us and wish you the best.